I'm going to show you how you can create and add the perfect complementary background to your spreadsheet report. So putting a background picture into Excel is relatively straightforward. You literally, on the page layout, you click on background, uh, you select from a file and you put it in. Okay. Now, there are quite a lot of subtleties around doing this because if you get a background picture that is the wrong size, it can look pretty awful if there's too much going on, if it's the wrong color. So these are my tips on finding the ideal background picture. Tip one, find your screen size. If you open a brand new sheet and you widen the column as far as you can widen it, until you hit the edge of the screen and then you record the number of pixels which in that case is 1789 okay you then widen the next one to the edge of the screen and you catch how wide that is and so you can do that by clicking up here and you can see that's 83 so we know we have 1789 plus 83 1872 you then do exactly the same thing for the height, which I've done, and I've recorded that. So I need an image that is going to encompass 1872 by 767 if I want it to fill the whole screen. Otherwise, it's going to be repeating and you'll get like borders and lines appearing on screen. OK, once I've got the size of my visible screen area, I'm now going to set up a PowerPoint slide that is of that dimension or slightly larger than that dimension. Set up a, a new blank presentation. Call it blank again, sorry, lay out blank. And then I'm going to click on the design and slide size and click custom size. Now, it's asking me in centimeters or it might be in inches or something, but you can actually type in pixels. So back here, I had 1872. So I'm going to round that up to 1900. OK, so I'm going to put in 1900, then a space and PX. And that will give me the actual amount of pixels I need. Then in the height, 767, I'll round that up to 800, I think. So I'll put 800 PX and click OK. And it doesn't matter which one you pick because you're on a blank sheet. So you now have the exact right canvas size for your image. So I then go to the internet and do an image search. I'm going to use this uh, public domain ice background for demonstration purposes. So what I'm going to do is you, once you've got this one, you can copy the image and go back to your PowerPoint slide and uh, paste it in, Control-V. And then what I'm going to do is just expand it in the corners to try and uh, fill the area, OK? And then clicking on Format, I'm going to need to crop it back. So if I go up to the top of this, and it should sort of click to, yeah, you can see you get guides and markers. You click anywhere off the screen and you get that. OK, so this is my background image. I'm now going to go back to uh, my Excel spreadsheet. Where are we here? Go back to the example theme. Now, I'm going to copy a few of these things by clicking on them and highlighting them and just pasting them as pictures on here. And then what you can do is click on your format picture and recolor. And now it's automatically giving you some color shade options. I mean, some are pretty awful <laughs> of ways you could color your background to match with the theme. So let's pick a color of that's looking quite good. And then we can decide whether we want to darken it or lighten it. It's probably pretty good like that. OK, so we can then take a copy of that slide and get rid of all of this. And then what we need to do is output that as a picture. So if we go to File, Save As, 
I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. And on the save as type, we need to change that to say JPEG. So there we go, JPEG. Now I've already picked two, so I'm going to call this one uh, Ice2, Ice V2, and save it. And then ask you which slide, so you just say just the one. So we've got that. Now go back to my Excel spreadsheet, click on background from file, and I'll import that sheet that I've just done. And so there's my background. Hope you enjoyed the video and got something from it. There's loads more tips and tricks on Up for Excel, so have a look around and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. See you soon.